I recently read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, and then I watched the 1982 movie inspired by the book Blade Runner, directed by Ridley Scott. All right, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I am gonna talk about the movie first because I saw the movie before I ever read the book. I've now seen it three times. I don't like this movie. I have never liked this movie, and I know it has a diehard cult following, but I don't know. I just have never been a fan. I watched it for the first time several years ago, didn't like it then. I went a few years to see it again, to see if giving it a little bit of time would have any effect. Didn't like it the second time, and then I just watched it again for the third time last night after having read the book, seeing if that would have any difference. Nope. By the way, we will be getting into some minor spoilers about both the book and the movie, so that's your warning. All right, so the general storyline of both the book and the movie is the main character, Rick Deckard, is a bounty hunter in the future. He is tasked with hunting down and retiring humanoid creatures called androids. They're called androids in the book, and they're called replicants in the movie. There's no mention of the term replicant in the book at all. There's also no mention of the term Blade Runner anywhere in the book. He's only called a bounty hunter in the book. As far as I know, the, the term Blade Runner was invented solely for the movie. And in my opinion, Blade Runner is a way cooler title. There's several reasons I don't like this movie and I'll get into it. First of all, this movie came out seven years before I was born. I was not around to see it in theaters when it first came out. I wasn't swept up in any of the kind of hype after it was released, but just because it's an older movie is not why I don't like it. I like a lot of older movies, and it's not even that the special effects look dated because the special effects in this movie are incredible. It's the one thing that I really love about this movie is the visual effects. This movie is visually stunning, and I can only imagine if I had seen it in 1982 for the first time, I probably would have been blown away like many people were. I love the use of miniatures in this movie. I wish more movies would utilize miniatures because they're so effective, and the miniature sets in Blade Runner look amazing. That being said, there's a lot about this movie I'm not a fan of. First thing I'll mention is the pacing. This movie is really slow, and I know it's going for an old school film noir type of mood and atmosphere, which I'm sure a lot of people love about it. I just didn't like it because the book moves really quickly. I believe it takes place in a matter of a day or two. And the movie, while it starts off pretty good, pretty interesting, riveting. It drags significantly in the middle and even into the third act. And for a movie about a bounty hunter tracking down these replicants and trying to kill them as quickly as he can, it is just too slow in my opinion. The dialogue is stilted, the delivery and the conversations between the characters is wooden and stiff. Do you like our owl? It's artificial? Of course it is. Must be expensive. Very. I'm Rachel. Deckard. I never thought the chemistry between Deckard and Rachel was very strong, and the whole kiss scene never sat well with me. The music. I hate the music in this movie. hate synthesizer music. I know it was used a lot in the 80s, but in my opinion, it was just out of place and didn't fit the, the movie that it was attached to. I, uh, I often wonder if they had gotten a different composer for this movie and gone in a completely different direction with the music, if it would have made for a better movie. I think maybe. All right, I'll end my rant about the movie there. Let's talk about the book. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. It was first published in 1968 and is considered by many to be a masterpiece of science fiction way ahead of its time. I always thought that the title of this book was a reference to, you know how when you can't fall asleep and people tell you, you know, you know lay in bed, close your eyes and, and count sheep to help you fall asleep. I always thought the title was some kind of reference to that, but it's not because in this book, this book is weird, but I like it. Uh, because that the earth is dying and there's all this dust and billions of animals have died on earth 
Animals are a rare commodity and human beings love animals. It's like a status symbol to own a real live animal. And a lot of people can't afford real live animals because they're so rare, so they have to resort to buying cheaper electric animals. And in the book, the main character, Rick Deckard, owns an electric sheep. So I actually liked this book more than I thought I would. It takes place in San Francisco though, not in LA like the movie. And one big part of the book that is not in the movie at all is this concept of mercerism, which is there's this character called Wilbur Mercer and he's a godlike figure to the people on earth. And there are these things called empathy boxes that people hook themselves up to and they can feel the emotions of anyone else on earth who is simultaneously hooked up to their empathy box. So if you touch your empathy box and you're happy, you will transfer your happiness to anyone else who's touching the box. But on the flip side of that, whoever is sad touching that empathy box will give you some of their sadness, which is a really cool concept. One thing that the movie does differently than the book is the movie gives a lot more screen time to the androids and especially the main android Roy Batty who I didn't even mention Rutger Hauer who plays Roy Batty in the movie amazing performance other than the visual effects he's probably my favorite part about that movie you might notice I never really talked about Harrison Ford it's because I thought Harrison Ford was kind of bland but anyway, in the book, you there's a few chapters dedicated to Roy and some of the other androids, like Ermgard, which, which always reminds me of this meme. I will say that in the end of this book, where Rick finally confronts Roy, you know, it's this big climax in the movie, it's very anticlimactic in the book. The character Rachel is in the book. She is an android, and she does play a love interest with Rick, but in the book, Rick is married and has a wife and he doesn't in the movie, and in the book he doesn't run off with Rachel at the end. Uh, that storyline goes in a much different direction. But besides the kind of anticlimactic ending, I really enjoyed the sense of tension that was created by Philip K. Dick in the book, especially with scenes with Rick coming into confrontations with the androids, and you're not really sure how he was going to get out of them, and those were my favorite parts of the book. All right, so you can probably guess which one I liked better. While Blade Runner is visually stunning, I think it's really weak narratively. And Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep was a pretty fun read. So I'll have to say the book, in my opinion, is a lot better than the movie, which I'm not a huge fan of. All right, I wanna hear from you. If you've read the book and or seen the movie, comment below, tell me what you thought of them and if you think I'm an idiot or not. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and click the bell. See you later.